What is going on guys, Raider Designs here, and today is a tutorial, and I'm going to start uploading tutorials on a daily basis. That seems to be what a lot of people love to see on my channel, so I'm just going to keep bringing it back. Um, thoughts on uh, upcoming, I will be uploading a lot more. Uh, it's getting very close to summer, so you know, a lot more activity. And um, yeah guys, I uh, love the, uh, the outcome of the last video, I loved it. But um... Just so we, uh, just so everyone knows, uh, I was never going to quit, so it's, that's not something that ever crossed my mind, so I don't know why people thought that. But, um, yeah, guys, so just, uh, keep, you know, thank you for subscribing and, you know, staying with me and giving me all the, uh, help I possibly can. So, uh, just give me a big outcome on this video, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So today is just creating a basic, uh, 2D watermark that you can use on, you know, any background any of your stuff. Uh, for instance, I will give you a something real quick. Um, an example of something that I made um, for a clan. It was nothing to, you know, they wanted a a logo. And this is the 3D version of it. But um, it's just basically an edited font. And that is basically what I will be showing you guys today. And you know, you guys can get very creative with this. This was um, edited, you know, somewhat, um, but, you know, you guys can get as creative as you want with it. Um, now, we're going to use this font here. Uh, the font is called Orion Pax. I will be giving this away. You know, this is a font that a lot of people have been asking me, so this is it, Orion Pax. What you're going to do is you're just going to, you know, type it out, and we're going to give it, you know, big, you know, make it, make it a big, big font, so big size, 250. Then what you're going to do is click this A button here, which is your you know text tool, and you're just going to switch the um, horizontal spacing to about 200. Make it big, make it bulky, and that's what you want. So after that, what you want to do is you're going to right click on your text layer and rasterize this type. Now, uh, you know that is going to make it so this layer is not editable. So if I take the text tool, it's not going to make it editable. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your pen tool, or you can take a rectangular marquee, which I will show you both. So the first one, you're going to take it, and you're just going to take a rectangular marquee and make it over the uh, T. You're going to right-click and hit Layer via Cut, and that is going to create a new layer of your T. So what we're going to do is we are going to label this T. Then we're going to click back on our tear layer, and we're going to click on our pen tool. Now here you can just basically outline anything, the E. And you're going to right click, make selection, hit OK. And you're just going to right click, you know, of course click your marquee tool again. Right click and layer via cut and, it, you know, so on and so on for every single um, letter. So here's A. And this is a step-by-step -step process, guys. So. As I'm doing this, you know, of course, this is not going to be the, you know, most unbelievable logo in the world, but there always will be stuff that you guys can edit to it, um, add to it, and you can take a font and make it not even look like a font anymore. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. But, uh, yeah, I'm just getting this R done. And we have the R layer done. Now, what I recommend is just reversing these layers because I like to work bottom from top on my layers bar, so I'll just flip everything. Okay, so here's our T. Now, T is, you know, you can do a lot of things. The first thing I see is, is I can connect to this part. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to click that, and you have, you know, just move it over so it's merged with it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to zoom in, do about 200%, and I'm going to make, use my pen tool, and just take the bottom of this T to the bottom of the E, and make a very small cut like this, very small rectangle. Make it a selection, and we're going to cut the T, and we're going to cut the E. And basically what that does is it gives it this, here I'll show you, gives it this cool looking T look to it, if you guys know what I'm saying. Gives it that really cool, just one bar over here, kind of cool looking thing. So what we're going to do after that is I don't like this E, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this out, and I'm going to layer, layer via cut, and we're just going to merge this into the E, 
duplicate the layer again, and we're just going to move it out and merge the E to make it look like that. Now let's rename it, and we're going to move the A over. Now the A, what I would recommend is moving it over to a point where it's going to look presentable for everything. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to move it over so the bottom and the middle are merged into the A and the top is leaving it, or just, you know, staying there, which is fine. And we're going to take a selection of the A, um, and that would be perfect, right, about here. And we're going to go right about there. And we're going to just make a selection, uh, delete portions of the E, and we're going to take, we're going to take, now here's some of the, here's one technique you guys can use, because there's a, a lot of shifting and turning and stuff like that of, of shapes. Now this is basic logo concept thing, this is nothing huge, so any of you guys who are, you know, already, you know, pretty uh, familiar with logo concepts, you'll understand what I'm doing, but on the T, as you guys can see, this the top of the T does not merge with the A, which makes this look very, you know, awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pen tool, and I'm going to just select this portion, make a selection, hit Command C, Command V. Ooh, we are going to make sure we merge the. Oh, okay, on the E layer, Command C, Command V. And that should duplicate our selection, as you guys see. And we are just going to merge the E again. Go down to 200. And we're just going to do the almost identical thing we just did before. We're just going to make a nice slit. And that's what a lot of custom logos and watermarks really consist of, is slits and little areas that you can edit and you know cut out and stuff like that. So that's that's what we have so far. Now the R I am going to actually merge this over here. I'm gonna take off a crap load of this R. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the A point that I want to the R to be leaning on, the little slit, and I'm just gonna make a nice little slit. Um, the pen tool, make a selection, and delete that part. Now also, this portion right here, guys, um, of the actual um, pen tool itself, or of the R, shall I say, itself, sorry, you can just delete that all. And that's going to give this nice tear effect. Tear. That's what it says. Now, or tear, whatever you want to call it. Now, most of you guys are thinking, oh, cool. I have a logo. Not done yet. There is a lot of stuff you guys can do to this. Um, number one thing is you see how the T has a point. Now what I can do is I can extend the R, make it symmetrical, and we're just going to extend it. And Ooh, I take that back. We're going to want to extend this side and just go like that. Hey, I will do that. Okay. And you're just going to want to <clears throat> make sure you create a new layer so it is editable. Fill the path. And that is what I have for tear so far. Now, of course, guys, everything's editable. Everything you can add more onto it. Like, for instance, here, I want to make the T a pointy T. Go into the T, and yeah, I mean that is basically one of the most the most you know basic ways you can make a concept of a logo. Now, if you guys loved this tutorial, I will show you, and I'm going to open it up here because I get requests out the butt. Um, I will show you how to make one of these. Now, this I'm going to move this into the new document, but. And, I. and this is my logo for people that do not know. This is actually, uh, it is a Stratza concept. Uh, it is some, he had a similar logo to that. And what I did is, is I looked at his logo and I said, wow, that is cool. I want to, you know, make something close to that. So what I did is I looked at it 
and I made the best I could, pen tooled some stuff, you know, you know, from scratch and made something that looked a lot like this. And it, it you know, there was rough drafts before, of course. Uh, I don't believe I have any. And then I also have my R icon, which I will do a, an icon type, um, you know, logo concept thing for that. But this is a text logo concept. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like the shit out of this video, subscribe, and I mean, help me out, guys. I really want to reach um, 10K, because then 10K, guys, I am giving out a huge graphics pack. I mean, everything I have, I am going to be giving out. Um, it is going to be the biggest thing in the world. Um, I also, for 9K, I will be doing a um, speed art contest. The winner will be inducted into D7, become part of the team, and also win $15. Now, that is a huge thing for you guys. It will be a sick thing. I will have more upcoming for you guys if you follow my Twitter. So, of course, follow my Twitter, rate, comment, subscribe, like the shit out of this video, guys. And I really hope you guys enjoy this.